Hey guys, what's going on? And uh, just before I get into this video, check out GameGoldTrader.com. They sell Ultimate Team coins, so you guys can uh, pick up yourself some Ultimate Team coins. They're going for super cheap at the moment. Uh, so I'll leave a link down below. You can check that out. And if you use CalFreezy at your checkout, um, where it asks you for a little code, you will actually get yourself 5% off. But uh, I don't want to hold you guys from this video anymore. I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. What's going on ladies and gents? How are you all doing? And welcome back to I suppose you could call it part 2 episode 2 of FIFA 15 upgraded players and uh, last video went down so very well and I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who showed support on that video. The comment section of that video was really awesome. There was plenty of you guys discussing your own opinions on players, what you think they should be, why you think they should be this, that, the next thing and it was actually really interesting and that's half the fun about you doing YouTube is finding out um, what other people think, what your viewers think like that. So I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who uh, participated showed support on that video and I hope you guys can do the same for this one now um, let's get right into it uh, first up is of course a Neymar now uh, just a little um, uh, piece of info for you guys before I go any further I never changed the actual smaller stats down there because then you're just getting a little too intricate and uh, it's kind of a little bit petty for now so uh, we'll leave that when it's a little closer to the games coming out and we'll leave those bits to EA but we can definitely talk about the overalls and that's what we're gonna do today so so, um, first player, of course, is, as you guys can see, is Neymar, the Brazilian monster. And I guess he's still a monster for Barcelona, but I definitely think he plays much better for Brazil. I mean, especially in this World Cup, the guy has just been unbelievable for Brazil, and he's really impressed me. So, um, I think there's definitely a room for an improvement on, um on Neymar's card and I think he will get an upgrade especially when you think about this and it kind of blew my mind Soldado is an 84 rated player in this FIFA so is Neymar and that was just a little bit like hold up surely we've got to fix something here I, I, I definitely think Neymar is due an upgrade um, he may go to an 85 I guess 86 is kind of on the high end of things a few of you guys were saying 87 88 I don't entirely agree with that I think maybe if we uh, just took his Brazil performances in the World Cup then sure that would probably be quite uh, reasonable but as far as um, you know you take everything into account I think 86 is quite a reasonable rating for him 85 would be quite good. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. I'm sure there's a few, I've got a few Barca, uh, Barca fans that watch my videos and you guys will be able to give a much more detailed response. But, um, uh, Modi here says that I hate to say it, but Neymar will be a rated high because of all the media hype the player receiving. And you know, we, we know Neymar has received media hype for a very long time. And, uh, you know, even on his move to Barcelona, he got a whole load of media hype. And EA, I have to admit, credit to them, they didn't really crumble under the pressure. They kind of kept him around 84, which is okay. But I do think now's the time where he deserves, you know, one or two overall, um, upgrades. So, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments as let's move on to our our second player of FIFA 15 upgraded players. Next up is none other than the man himself, Yaya Toure. For me, this guy is one of the best box-to-box -box midfield players you will ever watch. I mean, he is so good right now, and he scores so many goals for Manchester City. I don't have the stats with me right now, but I know he scored a ridiculous amount of goals for a center defender mid or a center midfielder, wherever he was deployed for Man City. But yeah, I mean, this guy, he's, he's honestly, for me, the best box-to-box -box midfield player out there at the moment. He's so strong. He, he just resents resembles a steam train. He is a tank when he runs through the midfield. I remember watching one game, I forget who it was against, and he, w he went all the way from midfield and literally just flew right down the middle of the pitch, push pushed like three or four players to his side and just went and scored. It was unbelievable. It was just classic Yaya Toure. I wish I could say the same for his brother, but don't get me wrong, Yaya Toure is um, a really good player. And uh, Jordan Martin agrees with me. He agrees with me sorry, he says, Yaya Toure should be upgraded to an 89 to score uh, the amount of goals he did from midfield and some very important goals. I think he deserves at least an 88 to 89, especially when you already have players like Schweinsteiger, who is an 88. Um, I just want to say before you guys possibly jump on Jordan's back for that uh, comment about Schweinsteiger, he did just say um, in the comment someone was replying like, uh, do you even watch Schweinsteiger? He's really good. And Jordan replied saying, um, yeah, I know he's really good. I'm just saying that Yaya Toure is on par with him. 
him, if not better. So, um, with that being said, I thought I'd just go with 88 for now because uh, he is an 86 this year. And I think a two um, increase in his uh, overall is kind of what you'd expect from EA. It's sort of uh, a nice number to go up by. He might go to 89, but I think 88 is what you can expect. And I hope to see um, him get an upgrade to it. If he's going to be 87, I'm going to be disappointed because I really think he deserves at least an 88 um, in the next FIFA. He has been absolutely monstrous and Jordan pretty much hit the nail on the head. He scored so many goals from midfield and some very important ones at that. So um, that's going to wrap it up for Toure. But yeah, guys, I think 88 is a good rating and possibly an 89 for Toure. Let's move on to the next upgraded player. Now, I know, guys, I know, I know, I know, most of these players have been very highly rated, but I has to be said, Pogba, for me, has to be an exception. This guy is an incredible talent. Um, I feel bad for Man United fans. You let him go. Um, you let him go to Juventus, and he has just developed wonderfully at Juventus, and no doubt about it, he is worth a lot of money now, and he is one of the world's sort of best young talents out there at the moment, and Brandon says, you should do some of the younger talents like Neymar, done Neymar, has Hazard's coming, and uh, this is, of course, Pogba, and he reckons 84 is a reasonable shout for Pogba, and I have to agree, I think 84 would be really good, he is still young, um, he is a very good player right now, and he's definitely, I, I think, you know, if he keeps his, uh, you know, doesn't do anything stupid with his uh, career, then he's definitely on his track to be a really, really impressive midfielder, and I think 84 next FIFA would be solid, he's currently an 81 rating, I think even this year he got an increase in his overall, it wouldn't surprise me though if EA kind of put him maybe to about an 83 for next FIFA, but I think 84 would be quite good and you can just imagine this guy is so young right now If he's already going to be an 84 you can imagine in a few FIFA's time Like I said if he uh, keeps on track with his career then uh, you can imagine he's gonna have those Yaya Toure-esque stats And uh, he should be very entertaining to watch. He's already very great to watch um, But he's a bit of a loose cannon if any of you guys watched any of the France games um, There was one incident. I think it was in the first game of the World Cup for France I forget who it was against though and uh, yeah things got a little bit uh, crazy It might have been Honduras actually but uh, yeah don't quote me on that anyways um yeah Pogba for me 84 rated I think that would be a pretty reasonable rating for him but I'd like to see guys what other players do you want me to talk about when it comes to upgrades uh, as you can see I've tended to done the higher end uh players you know the ones that tend to be a little bit higher rated than you know, the ones uh, Pogba's probably the lowest one I've done so far but if you guys have any ideas for other players let me know um which player what rating you should you think they should be and why you think they should be that uh, you know those are always the best comments that give you the why um, anyways, um, let's move on to our last and final slide for this FIFA 15 upgraded players. Last but not least, we have these two happy chappies. As you can see, well, Van Persie looks a little bit happier than Hazard in his photo. Hazard looks like he means business. But uh, let's talk a little bit about their ratings. Cal, why the hell have you not changed their ratings? This is all about upgrades. Now, uh, the reason why I decided to include this slide into the particular video is because a lot of people have been talking about Van Persie and Hazard in the comments. Now, for me, it has to be said... I, I think Hazard is a really good player, don't get me wrong, please um, understand that I think he is a really, really good player and he's only going to go up, to be honest with you, but... I don't think he is going to get much higher than an 88 rating in next FIFA. He already got um, an upgrade. He, he started off as an 86 when the game came out. But I think a few people forgot that he actually got an upgraded card to 88. Um, yeah, like I said, a few people, I think, forgot that. Because there was a lot of people in the comments saying um, Hazard should be upgraded to 88 and things like that. And uh, I guess they may have not realized Hazard has already been upgraded to an 88. And I think it's right that he stays around that for the next um, FIFA. I think that's uh, about right. Now, uh, RVP... This this is a little bit of a trickier subject, I suppose. There's a few people that says he should be downgraded and things like that. But I kind of want to object to that just because of the fact that um, he has had uh, this season where he didn't really play all that much. He uh, struggled with injury for a lot of it. And, uh, you know, it wasn't his best season by any means. But at the same time, just because a player has one, um, you know, season where he doesn't play that much, I don't think he should get his overall slash because we can see what he's doing for Holland right now is pretty impressive. He's doing really, really well. And if you can, it shows that he's still capable of that sort of performance and so if he can bring it over back into Man United maybe it's just you know one a little off season he had last season and then he's going to come back in and perform uh, to his usual 89 rated standard and uh, so I kind of expect um, EA to leave it around 89 I it wouldn't surprise me if they took him down to an 88 but I wouldn't expect anything lower than that and so for that reason I've kind of kept these guys the same um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on uh, both these players uh, I'm not entirely sure I was a little bit skeptical and 
I kind of brought up these two players just because it was more of I wanted to ask you guys what you all thought um, should be done with the two players. So uh, personally, for me, I'd like to just keep them the way they are from FIFA 14 into FIFA 15, uh, just because they had both. Uh, you know, RVP didn't have a great of a season, but I think he should be kept where he was. And uh, Hazard's already been upgraded to an 88 within FIFA 14, and I think if he stays around that, that'd be pretty reasonable because uh, you know Royce at the end of the day, he's only an 85, and Royce is an incredible talent as well. So uh, I'll leave it at that, guys. And like I said, if you guys would like to leave your opinions down below, as always, I love to read them. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to be featured in the next video. So have a great day, guys. Um, it's actually roasted in here. I am literally boiling and doing this commentary and talking the whole time has uh, really made me sweat. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day and let's smash 2,000 likes, guys. See you all later. Bye-bye.